The Final Shape gameplay stream was amazing. The new prismatic subclass allowing guardians to wield light and darkness at the same time. Exotic class items that allow you to steal perks from exotics and combine them into one exotic. The new darkness enemy faction called the Dread and much more. Let's take a look. So Guardians, this stream was pretty insane. Bungie has been holding back a lot since the final shape reveal last summer and today we got a ton of information. The stream began with a message from Luke Smith, who says Destiny 2 is far from over, this is the end of the saga, but the game will continue beyond. We know the game's been struggling recently, the layoffs, the last couple of months, but with Into the Light releasing today and this first look at Final Shape gameplay, the future does look pretty promising. But facing the witness is not the end of Destiny 2, and it's definitely not the end of Destiny. After you face the witness, we're going to tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2 and beyond. We'll see you soon. Let's first start off with Prismatic. The Traveler chose you to be its champion within the Pale Heart. With that, it has empowered you with some new gifts, using light and darkness at the same time. The Prismatic is the new subclass, combining different class abilities and damage types. You have a light and dark meter under your super bar, and as you do damage with light or dark, you get this new power, Transcendence. Now I did record the stream, the gameplay you're seeing here. The bitrate was not too great at some moments, so things are kind of blurry, but you get the basic idea. So this is going to open up a ton of opportunities, and as they stated in the stream, it feels kind of broken on purpose. You want to throw a Duskfield grenade to slow your targets and then throw a Gunpowder Gamble? You can do that now. While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. Titans, Strand, and Arc. For the Warlock, Stasis, and Void together. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence, so you can loop them together, one after the other. That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. Next up on the list, exotic class items. Each class will get a new exotic class item that allows you to steal perks from exotics and combine two perks into one exotic. Two perk columns that take aspects from these other exotics. Bungie also wanted this to feel a little broken and you can even take from other classes. So for this Warlock Bond, for example, they show Spirit of the Assassin. Finishers and Powered Melee Final Blows grant invisibility. And partnered with that, Spirit of Syntheseps improves melee damage when you're surrounded. How about a brand new darkness enemy type in the Dread? The Dread is the new Witness enemy faction. Tormentors from Lightfall was a member of the Dread, but now we get a bunch more enemies. The Subjugator, the Weaver, the Attendant, the Grim, and the Husk. The Grim are bats with guns. The Husk are giant melee bruisers with a geist inside of them which will track to the player upon their death. And the Weaver and Attendant are Strand and Stasis Scions reshaped by the Witness. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This is like the embodiment of the witness in these new enemies. The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. It was something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. 
The husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk, the geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. The weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. So there you have a basic overview of all the general information. There was tons of secrets and locations hidden throughout this trailer and stream, and we're going to take a look at some of those now. Of course, I'm going to miss things. Leave what you found in the comments below. One of the interesting things I found from the gameplay trailer is the way the Guardian gets their powers and how this voice speaks to them, a voice we've never heard before. In the trailer, a Guardian gets shot, falls off a ledge, and lands into this pool of energy to which another guardian walks up and looks to obtain the power. I'm not sure if this is the same guardian representing you know, you know, your own character possibly dying or somehow acquiring these powers or if it's a different guardian, but in my guess, you might acquire this power early on compared to Lightfall, you know, the whole campaign getting Strand. The guardian gets the power in the trailer and then fights a bunch of enemies inside the Pale Heart location. You have these bright, vibrant areas like the tower we've seen in the past, and then these dark, corrupted areas belonging to the Witness. In the trailer though, next to the new enemies and all the hype, we hear a voice, a voice we've never heard before. Now this could be anybody, it could be a new NPC or character introduced into the final shape, but with all the lore and theories over the years about the Traveler being the Gardener and referred to as a she, that's the first thing that came to my mind, the Traveler itself, or maybe an entity inside. That's just speculation, but listen to the voice for yourself. Take this power, Guardian. Be brave in dark places, for we are the light of hope. Here's some more slow shots towards the end of the trailer. The witness has its eyes closed and opens them, which kind of looks goofy for a second there. But then you see some humans in, I believe, the city looking up towards the clouds where the traveler might be. You get pictures of Mara, our guardian struggling, a hand reaching toward them, and then Cade firing at something as it looks like Zavala and maybe Ikora or our guardian are running away from something.
But Guardians, there you have a quick overview of the final shape stream. It looks super hype, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'm sure we'll have some more breakdown videos very soon. If you'd like to see some more videos and news just like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.